It's all about you. If you're not getting measurable results from your internet marketing activities, the kind you can put a rubber band around and take to the bank, then you are wasting your money and your time. Hi everyone, I'm Charles Broersma, founder of the Casbah Total Internet Marketing Solution. We're working hard to help small business owners and managers like you crisis-proof their businesses and double their revenue from the internet. And today, I'm going to share with you the psychology of the online sale and how important it is to make sure that you're positioning yourself so that you can sell more of your products and services to more of the right customers. So stay tuned. Your website and all of your internet marketing activities should be focused exclusively on putting more of the right information in front of more of the right people at the right times and in the right places so that you can sell more of your products and services to more of the right customers. That all makes sense, right? In previous videos that I recorded, I covered the first three laws of internet marketing. Content, community, and communication. You can find these videos on our resources page under the videos tab on our website. I've included a link to these videos in the description below. Please check them out after you watch this video. To truly understand the psychology of the online sale, we need to do a quick review of the first three laws of internet marketing. So here they are. Content is the delivery on the implied promise that you're making to your target audience. Now there are two salient points that I just made in that statement. The first is target audience. Your content needs to be specifically developed with your ideal customer in mind. The way you identify your target customer is through a process we use here at Casbah called Customer Composite Indexing, or CCI. The result of this process is a list of characteristics that very specifically and succinctly defines your ideal customer. This process is often referred to as buyer persona development. The better you understand your target audience, the better able you are to develop content that will appeal to them. Second is the delivery on the implied promise or the expectation, implication really, that when your target prospects get to your website, they will find exactly what they're looking for. Here's an important fact for you. Well over 85% of all activity on the web still begins with somebody searching for something. A further 85% will never go past the first page of the search engine results. So it's really important to get this right. Additionally, you have a very short window of opportunity to deliver on their expectation that what you have to offer is exactly what they want or need. It's a well-documented fact that most website visitors will form an opinion about your content within approximately eight seconds. That number could be even less for younger, more tech-savvy visitors. Community is all about getting your ideal prospects to validate you. You're trying to establish yourself as the center of influence in your industry. They had a need, they did a search, they found you, and now they're consuming your content. Hopefully they're saying, yeah, these are the go-to guys. This is the company and these are the people we want to work with because fill in the blank with your unique value proposition, which is the answer to two questions that I discussed in a previous video. What makes you different from as many of your competitors as possible and why should your customers care? Because it's in the answer to these two questions that you will find the true value in your relationships with your best customers. Communication is the regular and frequent dialogue that you're having with your suspects, prospects, leads, and customers. You are giving them an easy opportunity to communicate with you, but more importantly, they're giving you permission to communicate with them. This is the first variable in the trust equation. Communication with your ideal prospects 
isn't going to happen without you being truthful, respectful, understanding, sincere, and transparent, which I covered in a previous video as well. Now, I want you to think about the psychology of the first three steps in the process that I just outlined for you. Here's how it goes. They had a need, they did a search, they found you, now they're consuming your content, and they are determining that you are the go-to guys, the people they want to do business with. Do you hear how this works? Basically, you were their idea. You can't get better than that or hope for more than that. Commerce is really a two-part definition. It's either selling your products online through your e-commerce store or reducing the cycles in the online sales process. Here's what I mean. There are a half a dozen steps in any sales process, and I want you to check me on this. They are suspect, prospect, lead, qualified lead, proposal, and close. Now I realize that we could blow that up or dumb it down depending upon the sophistication or not of your products or services, but for the purposes of this video, we'll call it six steps in the online sales process. When you get the first three steps of this online sales process right, where they found you, they validated you, and now they're communicating with you about a product or service they know you have that they want or need, you've just reduced the cycles by two-thirds, taking them from a complete unknown suspect to a qualified lead, and they did it on their nickel and their time. Now our customers have told us over the past 20 years that when they get this process right, there are two very specific product motives that are accomplished. First, by reducing the steps in the process, which is essentially the money value of time, you effectively get closer to revenue faster. Second, by using this process like a magnet where they are attracting only the right prospects and customers, and repelling the wrong ones, you waste less time dealing with unfit prospects and spend more time with people who truly want what you have to offer. An additional benefit of dealing with fit prospects is they are more likely to recognize the value of what you're offering and less concerned about the price. Making sure that you understand the psychology of the online sale and that you have positioned yourself correctly will ensure that you sell more of your products and services to more of the right customers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get all the updates. Be sure to check out the Casbah Total Internet Marketing Solution at www.casbah.net. You'll find a wealth of information, including a library of other videos that I've recorded under the Resources tab.